Welcome whiskey aficionados to review number 107. Now today we've got a nice dram from um, that boutique whiskey company. It's an independent bottler and this is the um, Linkwood. It's an 11 year old and it's bottled at 48.4%. The boutique whiskey company, you see them, uh, I, think, I actually think they're brilliant marketers because the bottle is so beautiful. They've really gone all out and uh, the have bought whiskey, they put it in a new bottle, they've made it look nicer than the original in my opinion, or is it nicer or is it a different style appealing to a different market? I don't know, but they're getting traction. Uh, six directors based out of Kent in England, uh, so they're all uh, very, very enthusiastic and uh, that company is growing quickly. It really is. Anyway, as I say, I think this is a bourbon cask finish, but I could be corrected on that. So if you know, Linkwood, 11 year old, 48.2%, is it a bourbon cask finish? I think it is. On the nose, super. There's a new whiskey describer for you, super. Very mild, it's mild, light, you've got apples, pears, light, citrus, floral, uh, perfumey, it smells beautiful. Yes, all right, here, here we go. Mm. So, yeah, you got that characteristic or that note of like perfumey and um, there's a sweet sweet spice vanilla pears um, like a touch like a touch of white white caramel chocolate and it's very very refined I like that it's it's really nice beautiful mouth feel still a lot of sweet honey coming through there hmm it's much, much actually <laughs> better than I thought. It's, it's actually very, very, very nice as a, as a sort of a mm, refined sort of whiskey. The ABV just feels right. It feels balanced. Um, the finish is fairly medium, medium to short, but very, very enjoyable. And it just leaves you sort of drooling for the next, uh, the next sip. So all in all, Linkwood 11, 48. Point two, that boutique whiskey company. Hell of a job, guys. Picking out that one. Very, very nice. Whoo! Very good. 88 out of 100. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, value for money? Mm. I think because that boutique uh, whiskey company have uh, purchased from a lot of the distillers. I think they've purchased from around about 78% off distillers in Scotland. Something like that. It's a lot. Um, but they're putting a lot of money into the marketing, into the way it looks, into the way uh, the presentation is. So there's a price point uh, and there's a price to do that. So I think you're paying a premium for that. You're paying a premium for them to select the best that they can find, put it in a bottle, make the bottle look very, very fancy and put it on the shelf. So you're paying a little bit more for that. So, But look, it is very, very good. So I, I, I think it's value for money if you can find the right offerings that you want. Otherwise, it's a little bit on the high side, a little bit steep. So yeah, good. 89 out of 100, very, very good. Uh, until next time, peeps. Cheers.